Hello! Hello Good there! Good morning to you! So as you can see this dangling lead means we've run some wires. We've run wires. We've That's run our 12 volt. Thanks to our mate Ben who's come down and gave us a hand. Um, we've run all the wires through the tracking. I was really unsure. I was like, are you sure you do the wires first? Because I was like, nervous about like insulation. insulation and stuff. But it is safer to have it that way because A, they can go, most of them go through these little tracks. Some, f some go diagonally, diagonally, but uh, it won't be a big D. We spent two hours yesterday just deciding where we definitely, definitely wanted everything. Definitely sorted out where we want our 12 volt plugs, where we want our control panel, which is up there. Shower, all our lights. Our vents. Our vents. Our water heater. Water heater. Gas bottle. Our fridge had to be decided because we need a cable for that. We haven't run any 240 volt yet because we don't have the cable yet. Uh, we don't have any plumbing yet and we don't have any anything else. We don't have batteries yet. But first things first is we've still got this side flare to fit which is where we left you last time. But we were just doing an update in the interim because we've had two days where we took our way self away from the side flare because we're waiting for the bloody sealant. And we got on with a few other things like running the cable. We sorted out the leak in the front. Um, mm -hmm. We've drilled a hole, which hopefully the water is going to come out of. So we're waiting for some rain to test that out. What else did we do? We've, we've got the door to be able to open from the outside, but we still can't open it from the inside. But the back door works. The back door does work. I'll demonstrate right now. I'm like we can go anywhere at the moment. We've got a giant bush back there, but uh, <laughs> well, it does I'm... open. We're going to change the skylight. Major update. All right, so now we are going to go get on with jigsawing and sizing up the side flare. And giving it a good paint. And giving it a good paint. And then we'll probably clean up in here. Start that process. Yeah. What are you up to there, Pet? Um, just seeing with a light sand how this goes down, but it's really hard stuff, which is good. But as you can see here, I absolutely overkilled that one. Um, treat them, paint them, paint this. I forgot to say that I waited, we've waited, what, two days? I know this stuff says it sets in two to three minutes, but before sanding, I wanted to leave it at least a whole day before sanding it down. So it's actually been left for two days. So while SJ busies herself with prepping the side flare thing and painting and stuff, I'm going to get to cleaning the floor and getting all the tape up and seeing what we're working with. I've cleaned one panel up so far and kind of around the back here. Again, on. Good. It's not like a perfect match or anything. You're not going to see most of it anyway. Oh, little tip if you're painting with hammer eye and it gets like really tacky and sticky, just have a pot of white spirit close at hand and when it starts getting tacky, just dip it, wipe it, and then carry on. Oh, I think it is definitely in order. Cordial! Cordial! <laughs> what are you prepping for then? Ogre grinding. We have these beautiful little things here. All around the van. And they are all about to be angle grinded off by SJ herself. And as you can see here, all that black stuff around it is like tape. So what I've been doing is cleaning it up like so because underneath all that black stuff is some sort of metal work that's been revealed which needs hammer writing. I need a new pair of grips. Oh, I just put the other ones back. Well, it's just not gripping for some reason. Color are they? Silver. All right. The only problem is, I'm dangerously close to the van. <laughs> really awkward. Then get in there. I'm stuck. I don't know how I'm going to get in there. 
need a screwdriver. Thanks. It's too small. I found a good way to do it. Grab the board, see if it goes across. Perfect. Not to get it. Right, that's us done for the... Right, that's us done for the day. We've been at it since about half eight this morning, so we've done a good seven hours, I think. I'm gonna clean myself up. Otis is gonna clean the place, get it tidy, and I'm gonna go basking. Hopefully make some money, do some singing. It's just good for me to keep my singing up, and just good for a break, and also enjoying the sunshine. Hopefully there's a pasty in it for us. Thanks for watching, see you later. I'm gonna go do some busking, and I am gonna do operation, down tools, and tidy up, and put the tarpaulin back on. A little clean up in here. I don't think I'm going to hoover because I want to carry on tidying tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we're just going to get up early and go again. No, you don't. Freaking ladder. See you back on the other bloody side then. Ta da! Wasn't me. Uh, basking by the sea, I get to just strip off and enjoy the beach. And most importantly, a cup of tea. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Join us next time where we do decide to take up the old batons off the floor. And Otis eats a lot of watermelon. Um, it's very scary stuff. And yes, we do have a lot of holes in our van now, but we'll get to that later on. Otis cleans the side and he has a good bloody moan about it as per usual. I eventually paint the rest of the side of the van to get prepped for the old side flare. The sleeping pod is going on with a bit of help from David and our air hydraulic reveter. It's very reveting stuff. We'll catch you next time. Say bye. Bye.